Hello everyone. All right, I am gonna start this video apologizing in advance. We have some thunderstorms rolling through. Um, so just in case you hear that going on in the background, uh, yay Florida. Uh, I actually love storms, so pretty cool. Uh, anyways, this video is going to be about my latest tattoo. I do have several of them. Um, but recently I got a new one, so I'm going to be talking about this new tattoo as well as talking a little bit about my preferred method of tattoo healing, uh, which is the Tegaderm or Sanoderm method of healing. Uh, so, um, I got my latest tattoo on 626, so June 26th, uh, for any Dis nerds, Disney nerds, uh, 626 day is in celebration of the Disney character Stitch, which I have in several places in the background. I have a <laughs> sleeping one here too. I actually got him in a, one of my previous videos. Um, so yes, my favorite local tattoo artist, Ms. London at Living Canvas Art Company, uh, had a 626 event uh, where she was doing special uh, all color uh, four by four stitch tattoos and the moment I saw that I just had to do it um, and I got lucky so basically she did one design per person so she had like a set of flash designs um, that she let uh, one person uh, snag each one. And we had to email her first thing in the morning. Uh, it was a couple weeks before or something like that. Anyways, so you had to be the first person to write in and claim the design that you wanted. And if you weren't the first one, then you're out of luck. And I got super, super lucky uh, that I was the first one to write in for the design of my choice. Uh, so, uh, I got lucky with that, and then, yeah, on the 26th, I went in, uh, and I got my latest tattoo. I'm super excited. Obviously, it's a character I really love. I love Stitch. She is by far my favorite Disney character. Uh, I've been wanting a new tattoo for a while now, and plus, as I said, uh, Ms. London is my favorite. I love her. She's such a good artist, and so, yeah. So I'm going to show you my new tattoo real quick and then I'm going to get into uh, the healing process. Uh, he is still in the healing process, only been a couple weeks. Um, so he has just finished kind of like the little peeling stage that you go through. I always have a little bit of peeling after I remove uh, the Tegaderm or Sanoderm. Uh, it's just a little the way my skin is. And he's in that phase where it's like a little bit shiny still. Uh, and the, the uh, layers of skin underneath also have to finish healing, which takes a few more months. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. Let's uh, switch this camera around. Alrighty, so there he is with his frog. You can see it's still in that shiny phase. He's so cute. He's got a couple little spots here and there that are still peeling a bit. Obviously, don't mind the hair. I can't shave over this just yet until it's completely healed. <clears throat> but, um, there he is. I'm so happy with him. He's so cute. I really love this design. First off, I love the little frog. And I just love, like, the alien form stitch with the antennae and his little, whatever you call these. What are they? <laughs> I don't even know, but they're so cute in his his forearms. I just love it. Uh, so, there we go. That's him. I just love the color. The color saturation is really pretty. Let's see. Uh, I was going to say the sun, the sun. Oh my gosh. The light keeps hitting it. It just looks shiny. Uh, but yeah, she's the one who actually did my... Well, she didn't do the original tattoo. I had a touch-up done by her on my Zero tattoo that I had vlogged about previously. Um, I had gotten Zero as a Friday the 13th tattoo. And uh, he was a little bit choppy. 
uh, needed some life to him, so I had gone back to her uh, to have him fixed up because the original artist who did Zero was no longer there. And uh, she did an awesome job on Zero as well. But man, I'm just so thrilled. He's just so cute. All right, yeah, so that's my, my new tattoo, my stitch tattoo. I'm in love with him. Um, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the healing process that I use. Um, excuse me. Uh, for all my tattoos, I have done this, and it just works really, really well for me. Uh, it just makes everything a little more convenient. Um, I don't lose any ink. And especially I work outside in the hot sun and I'm sweating all the time and I work around a lot of animals um, in like dusty kind of situations and so I don't want my tattoos getting dirty and risking infection and all that or like you know constantly rubbing against my costume that I have to wear at work and so for me the Sanoderm Tegaderm healing uh, method just makes sense for me in my situation. So here is, so for anyone who doesn't know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Tegaderm and Sanoderm, it's like a, a second skin type thing. Um, it's a clear waterproof bandage that uh, stays over the top of the tattoo to allow it to heal. Um, this here the next care Tegaderm that I actually use with my stitch tattoo and also on Zero. Um, it's kind of like the local pharmacy, like drugstore version of Sanoderm. Uh, they're both very, very similar. So this is what I use. These are four uh, by four and three quarter patches. And what I do is so when stitch was done, uh, Ms. London put a the te uh, tegaderm over the top of the tattoo as soon as it was cleaned off and everything like that and her instructions to me were to uh, basically leave it on the longer the better um, they usually say like anywhere from like four to six days in that range and uh, she said if there is a lot of like buildup or it starts to leak or anything like that to change it and put on a fresh one. And so what uh, she's talking about with that is that when, at least for me a lot, when you get a new tattoo and you put Sanoderm or Tegaderm over the top of the tattoo, what happens is the tattoo uh, area is going to leak a lot of like blood and plasma and excess ink and um a lot of people like when they don't know a lot about this whole process or tattoos when they see it they're like oh that looks kind of dirty that's gross are you gonna get an infection but actually no so when you have something like this like the tegaderm protecting it um it keeps that area clean and it looks kind of dirty because it's got all the excess ink and everything inside of it but it's actually uh very very good because plasma has a lot of like healing uh, benefits to it, um, which is why it's so sought after. It keeps the area very hydrated, it keeps it from drying out, it prevents the initial itchiness, and so it's actually really, really good. And so long as the, the Tegaderm is not leaking any of the plasma and everything out of it, um, you can leave the Tegaderm on for as long as you need to. Uh, if it starts to leak, which is the case with mine, my first day I had a lot of buildup under there and it started leaking. Um, in the case that that happens, basically there's no longer the proper seal all around the tattoo uh, because everything is starting to leak out and so you can have the introduction of bacteria. And so at that point, uh, which was the night I got the tattoo, uh, this is when I carefully remove the tegaderm which usually I do under warm water so whether it's like in the sink or in the shower I carefully remove the tegaderm um, I use the dial gold antibacterial soap and very very gently 
don't scrub too hard. I very gently wash everything off the area, all the excess like plasma and ink and whatever else is like all underneath that bandage. Um, and then what I do is I always use the uh, paper towels, like kitchen towels, paper towels, kitchen paper. I've heard like so many different names for it, but paper towels, uh, I don't like rub the area. I always just carefully pat the tattooed area dry just to make sure I'm not agitating the area. It is an open wound. Um, you never want to use like regular towels or anything like that because they harbor a lot of bacteria and that's not something you want to put on a fresh wound because infections are not cool. So that's what I do. I usually blot it, uh, blot it dry with the paper towel and then I actually let it air dry for another like five, 10 minutes or so just to make sure there's no like excess moisture, water, anything like that left on the tattoo. And then after I'm sure that the area is super, super dry, uh, that's when I would take a new piece of this Tegaderm and uh, cover the tattoo again. And you always want to cover it so that you have it like at least an extra inch or so of the Tegaderm or Saniderm around the outside of the tattoo. Uh, that's because, like I said, you're going to leak plasma and excess ink and things like that and you want to create uh, as much space as possible between where that's happening and where it could possibly leak out. Um, so that's what I do. I put the bandages over it, left a lot of space all around the tattoo like where there was excess tegaderm just in case it was building up again which it did. Um, and then this time what I did is as it did start building up when I thought it was going to get close to leaking and it was getting closer to the edges of the tegaderm, what I did was I would layer a few smaller pieces of tegaderm to like extend the area of where the tegaderm was so that as all the, the buildup underneath was kind of forming, um, it would have to get through more of that tegaderm before it would ever leak and cause uh, that seal to be broken. Uh, so that's how I did it and I will actually insert, I think I have a video clip here, um, heads up in case you are squeamish about seeing anything that I have just talked about, you might want to skip ahead, but I'm going to insert here real quick a small bit of footage of uh, what my tegaderm situation looked like as I had more of that plasma buildup so that, you know, this kind of makes more sense to you. All right, so that's what it looked like. I think it was after day two or day three. Uh, that's how it looked. Uh, and yeah, after layering on extra Tegaderm around the original Tegaderm just to keep any leaks from happening, I was able to keep that Tegaderm on for, I think the total was six days that I had it on. And it was really nice. From there, I did what I did initially when I removed the Tegaderm. I went into the shower, I really carefully removed the Tegaderm so as not to cause any extra irritation to the tattoo, um, washed with the dial gold and then blotted dry with the paper towel and then from there I start using this. Um, this is my favorite tattoo lotion I always use because it holds moisture uh, for 24 hours it says but it does keep it uh, from like, itching and feeling extra dry for a pretty long time and this is why I like it. Uh, so yes, this at this point I start applying this because at this point in my healing uh, is when I start getting a lot of the flaking and peeling of the top layer of skin on the tattoo which is very very normal. Um, with the Sanoderm and Tegaderm I don't get any scabs or anything like that like none of that really harsh hard scabs like I don't get any of that with the Tegaderm uh, and I also skip a lot of the itching process when I use Tegaderm which is 
fantastic because anyone who has experienced tattoo itch knows it is awful. It's so bad. It's so annoying. You just sit there like slapping your tattoo to try to get rid of the itch because you can't scratch it. Uh, although if you do get an itch with the Tegaderm or Sanoderm, at least you have like a protective covering there. Uh, just in case you absentmindedly scratch at it, at least it's like something protective to keep you from scratching and taking out the ink. So, um, but yeah, so from there, like I said, I start applying this and I do this two to three times a day. I do it a little more when I'm at work because I am sweating and just in not super clean, uh, like areas walking around and like you know, dirt and sand and everything else. And so what I do is I actually wash it with the gold dial. I actually bring it with me to work in my bag and I would wash it, bring paper towel with me to blot it dry and reapply the Lubriderm lotion again throughout the day. Two to three times a day is how I do it. If it starts itching or if like feels extra dry, um, I will apply it as needed. And uh, it's very important too when you are applying anything like this, um, not to oversaturate the area either because you don't want any of the skin, uh, the dry skin or anything falling off or you know being too soft and falling off prematurely and pulling out some of that ink accidentally. You want it to naturally just kind of come off on its own. So, um, and that's that's pretty much it as far as the peeling goes. Uh, a lot of the skin I've noticed just kind of peels when I'm gently kind of like washing the area with the dial gold. Um, I don't apply like any excess force. It just like small circular motions usually helps remove some of that excess skin. And so yeah, we are a little over two weeks now of having this done. Um, in another like few weeks, usually it's around like the two month mark for me. Everything looks pretty much completely healed. The shine is gone on the top of the top of the tattoo and it's back to being like kind of normal skin again. So yeah, that's, so that's my process with the uh, Tegaderm or Sanoderm. Both are pretty much the same for me. Um, I highly, highly recommend healing this way. It's just, for me, it's just so much easier than the scabbing and all that or worrying about like catching like everything on your clothes or your blankets when you're sleeping at night and pulling out ink and um, I love that it, it stops and prevents that whole issue for me. Um, I love that it skips over a lot of the itching that I don't like. And I love that it, it protects the area, especially if you're like me, where realistically we can't just be sitting home and not, you know, working and being, you know, active. Um, I love that it keeps our new tattoos protected for us because we want them to last and look good and heal well because this is how you, you have nice tattoos that stay looking nice, is by healing them properly and taking good care of them. So that's that highly recommend this method you can get the tegaderm um i get it i mean it's going to be different in different countries but here in the u.s i find it at walgreens cvs pretty much any like pharmacy i think walmart carries it amazon uh and then sanoderm i have never seen for sale in person but i have purchased it online uh, so that's where I would recommend looking for that unless you do have a tattoo artist or somebody in your area that does sell this sanitizer. Um, I'm not saying that any other tattoo method cannot be used. I just want to say that people have different things that work for them. And ultimately, go with what your tattoo artist tells you works best for their artwork. They're going to know what has worked best historically for their pieces. And so listen to them unless they say something really sketchy always listen to your artist they're gonna know how their particular their specific artwork heals best and uh yeah if honestly if, if anyone else here watching has tattoos i would love to hear how you heal your tattoos do you use tegaderm or sanoderm do you dry heal do traditional healing do you like what do you do do you aquaphor 
Uh, I would love to hear all about your experiences with tattoo healing as well. Uh, this is just mine and I love it. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, obviously, if I get any more tattoos, I plan on showing them off on here. Talking a little about, a bit about those, I definitely have plans to get more tattoos for sure. So stay tuned for that. Um, and hopefully I will be uploading another video soon as well. There's a couple more BB creams that I have been asked to try out, as well as a couple of other products that I am on the lookout for that I have been asked to review. So yeah, please feel free to leave suggestions down below for anything you want to see in the future. And if you are interested in my other videos or want to see what's coming up next, please subscribe like this video so that I know that it's something that you like and want to see more of. And I hope you are all happy and healthy and doing well. And I will see you all again soon.